we turn our attention to UC Berkeley, where protests kick off another week of a nationwide outcry against the war in Gaza. You know, just like a large occupation at Columbia University in New York, dozens of UC Berkeley students are in an encampment of their own on the steps of Sproul Plaza. Sean Chitten is live in Berkeley this morning. And Sean, are you seeing any sign of police out there? The reason why I ask, we know that several people have been arrested on East Coast campuses. What's the signal from police there in Berkeley about this encampment? Hey, Reed, good morning. Well, we do know that there were several patrol cars in the street that leads to one section of campus that then can give you access to the main thoroughfare where we're standing. But we're not seeing anyone up close and near the tents like we have seen at those other locations you're referencing. I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a better sense of how things look this morning, especially now that the sun is up. It's also worth noting that the number of tents have increased from just yesterday. So the movement getting more attention. Students have shared with us that they saw this because of course it is in the center of campus and it impacted them in a way where they decided to join the effort and get in a tent and spend the night as well. But so far, none of the, the main issues that we have seen with those other schools, although we know that it is all connected in a sense because these students are uh, wanting to show solidarity with those who are uh, at those other schools, including uh, the one in New York City at Columbia University. Specifically, what they are calling for is for the University of California to take the steps that they want to see by not having any more connections to colleges and companies in Israel, specifically those that they say are arms suppliers. And they also want the school to take the step of calling Israel's actions over in Gaza as a form of genocide. We are standing inspired by our students over at Columbia, who we consider to be the heart of the student movement. Um, but more importantly, we're standing in solidarity with our people in Palestine. It's my script on my other phone. All right, so in a statement, the university said that with three weeks left in the semester, Berkeley is prioritizing students' academic interests. We will take the steps necessary to ensure the protest does not disrupt disrupt the university's actions. And then that statement goes on to say there are no plans to change the university's investment policies and practices. So if you see here again on this main stretch right behind me, there is Sather Gate. There has been a daily vigil protest at this location since February. And so that, in addition to what we now see over here, right in front of the administration building, on these steps gives you a better sense of just how much that is taking over the campus and certainly the effort behind us trying to be a 24-7 response. Read back to you.